Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 32. But before we get there, I want to tell you a little bit about myself growing up. See, I spent a lot of time at my grandparents' house, running around inside and outside of the house. Their house had multiple stories, and to get to the main floor, you had to go up a set of carpeted stairs. So my siblings and cousins and I were often caught running up and down these stairs or even, even seeing how many stairs that we would dare jump down before we chickened out or one of the adults caught us. And I remember so many times, though, that I'd be running up the stairs as fast as I could and then my foot would barely make contact with the edge of the step. And due to the carpet, my foot would slip and I'd come crashing down. I also remember tripping up over different things, even just walking around. See, one summer, my, my feet, they grew way too much too fast, and it seemed like it took me years to figure out how to walk properly again without tripping over things. Sometimes it would be just a little rock sticking up in the field, or it would be where the sidewalk was raised slightly higher on one edge, or it would simply be one foot didn't get out of the way of the other. And I remember how sometimes I would fall and laugh, and other times it got so annoying and frustrating that I was always getting tripped up by these things. In 1 Corinthians 10.32, it says this. It says, don't give offense to Jews or Gentiles or the church of God. And the language here where it says don't give offense is often translated as do not become a stumbling block for others. And when I read this, it brings to mind all of those, those times that I used to, those things that used to trip me up when I was younger and how hard it made it for me. See, this verse is telling us not to become those stumbling blocks for other people. God, he gives us a ton of grace and mercy, and within that, there's freedom. But within that freedom, he also wants us to be considerate of how our actions can affect others. See, I'm a dad, and I have two awesome children. And the moment I became a dad, something happened on the molecular level in my DNA that forces me to tell dad jokes all the time. See, I love dad jokes. Dad jokes are hilarious. And as fathers, it is part of our responsibility to share the hilarity of these jokes with others. But sometimes I know that I can go a bit overboard and frustrate my children. There's nothing sinful about my dad jokes. But if I were to ignore my children's response to the point of driving them to lash out in frustration and anger, I am not doing what God has called me to do and encouraging others to choose the right actions. See, there are things that we can do that are not sinful in and of themselves. But when we, when we know that they are things that can cause others to sin or to push them in the direction of sin, we need to make the choice to do everything we can to build up and encourage one another and to not become a stumbling block. This week, my challenge for you is to check your heart and to see where your stumbling blocks are and where you might be a stumbling block for others. And then have those open and honest conversations about how we can best support and encourage the people that God has placed in your life. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.